Hi, this is Tony Poulos at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. Today I have with me Eric Creviston, who is the President of Mobile Products at Corvo. Eric, can you provide me with a bit of background or an overview of your business? Uh, Corvo was formed by the merger of RF Microdevices and Triquin over a year ago and uh, we specialize in designing and manufacturing semiconductor solutions for the radio frequency market. So we're a semiconductor company but specialized in wireless communications really. And could you tell me what you're seeing as the major trends in the market in 2016? Uh, there's no question that mobile video uh, and cloud-based services are driving a dramatic increase in the demand for mobile data. And uh, it's almost insatiable, the amount of data that users want to consume these days. And the network operators and our handset customers are working hard to provide that data. Can you tell me a little about carrier aggregation and how it's affecting the user experience? Carrier aggregation is a, is a great new technology. Practically every meeting we're having this week at Mobile World Congress, it, it comes up uh, because it's a way that you can use uh, the handset to receive multiple frequencies of information at the same time. So instead of just having one channel that the, the device can use to get data, you can actually receive multiple data streams at the same time, dramatically increasing the amount of throughput to the device. And how's the network handling that? Yeah, so for the same reason, the networks are, are learning to be able to transmit and receive on multiple channels at the same time as well, uh, so that they can enable this throughput. And what do you see as the core radio frequency or RF technologies that are going to be crucial in the coming years? As you can imagine, when you're trying to receive multiple channels at the same time, filtering and switching is very important. You have to route these signals throughout the devices in parallel. So the device has to learn to be very smart in separating the two tones that it's listening to, and sometimes three or four in the future as well. And so filtering and switching are very, very critical for that application. And also power amplification and power management that allows the device to work off the battery as long as possible in these modes. Could you tell me Corvo's view on 5G and what you're doing to prepare for the new standards? Yes, ab absolutely. So a big part of 5G is going to be addressing that continued uh, dramatic demand in mobile data. So, you know, we're looking at increasing the throughput, the max throughput rates by 10x to like 10 gigabits per second. Uh, we're also looking at increasing network capacity by a thousand times. But in addition to that, there's two other really important aspects of 5G. One is to create a new mode where you have ultra-reliable, low-latency communication for a whole new applications like autonomous driving, for example. Uh, and then thirdly, I'm really excited about, personally about the massive machine type communication. So again, a completely different use case for the global LTE network. So it's the device manufacturers that are your primary or core customers? That's correct. We sell directly to the handset manufacturers, but in reality we also work directly with the network operators to help determine what's possible in next generation systems. And we also work with the digital baseband and transceiver suppliers that we kind of partner and go to market together with. Eric, it's been great chatting with you and thank you for explaining that so clearly for me. Thank you. Great. Thanks very much for your time.